right? Next year, oh, where are the trials? Where are the trials? Got the trials, okay? He was going, everyone, I want to give it 100%, right? Really try hard, really try hard. He's watching people play, right? I made sure that every time I ran by him, I was out of breath. I, I really try. Every time I ran by him, he sort of looked at me, I think, yeah, right? Came to it, he said, the team is this, I'm left out, right? He went past me, and he went, you've clearly got asthma. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't make that team either. Yeah, and I didn't, and and uh, and I vowed that day never try hard at anything. Yeah, well, you've certainly kept that up. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that, Carl? Were you play? Did you play sport at school? Um, a little bit, but it was never taken seriously at school. Anyway, it was. Uh, I think the PE teacher was a geography teacher as well. So it's like you know, what yeah. does he know? It was all that. Basically, he put some tracksuit pants on that were always too tight for him. He'd see everything. But what were you looking at? Because you, you couldn't help it. It was in the days when clothing was tight as it is, mm. and then it was like lycra tracky bottoms. All oh, right. And everyone used to say, "Look at the state of that." But like uh, he's stealing sausages from. It was ridiculous. London. Ridiculous. Uh, so he didn't know what he was doing anyway. If, if anything, it was dangerous because he didn't know what was what was the capability of a. Ten-year-old kid's body. He put you through loads of stuff. Right. He didn't like me anyway because he wasn't that good. If you're not that good, teachers don't like I you. I thought you'd be pretty good. I wasn't interested. That's the thing. I did right. relay and I got done for swearing. Got whacked on the ass with a baton. Hold on. Why, why, why were you swearing in relay? When, when did that come into it? When did you need to swear in relay? You're running round, aren't they? Because the lads swearing. didn't slow down, so I couldn't pass it on. So I sort of said, "Fucking slow down." And then he heard me, and then went mental at me. But yeah, so it was never. I mean, Darren Campbell, the 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 athlete, I've told you, I don't know that I was involved in his his training. No, don't know about this. Yeah, Darren Campbell, the uh, I think he won a gold medal. Didn't he used to push you around in a bath or something? It's not last of the summer wine. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, it was in my go kart. Right. And he used to it was a motorised go kart. You had to like pick it up at the back, run with it at speed, and then drop the wheels down. Yeah. Well, no, we should explain, life. people don't know, he was the bloke who used to push the bobsleigh in the Winter Olympics, wasn't he, for the England team? No, he was a, he was a runner. Well, how was that part of his training, then, pushing a fucking go-kart? What was he doing? Because he's running. But he's running about a yard. No, no, sometimes more than that, quite a lot. And it's just, uh, go, what do you want? It's Darren Campbell. <laughs> Pushing me go kart. Yeah, but you seem to be taking half the credit for his gold medal. All you've done is sat on your arse, you lazy twat. I just kind of think he was he was at the age where it's important. He could have made a decision not to go into it at that point. And I think he was never keen to get in the go kart. Yeah. He was always keen to push it. And I used to let him. Now if I said no, I don't want you pushing me go kart. Who knows? I'm just saying I was there at the start. Doing nothing. Providing nothing. Sitting on your arms. Sitting around. Well, letting if, someone if, else. Alright, what athletes have you helped? <laughs> You've not helped him. I bet if he ever did a book, an autobiography, he'd go they, you know, in the early years, Ron Campbell. No, I want to know if he has done an autobiography, because we're gonna be looking this up. I remember the training. I'm making a note of that for the next time I do anything. Round that Pilkington's. Darren Campbell. Pushing a go kart. Pushing bold in crap. Cheap. It wasn't go kart. 120 quid it was. You know how many paper rounds that is? What I like when um, you're watching football on the television is if it goes to a close up of a footballer, it's just kick the ball out, Mr. Gar is gone for a free kick or whatever. If you stay on any footballer for more than 10 seconds, they would either swear or gob. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a fact. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never needed to gob that much. It's I don't care how knackered I am, I'm never gobbing like that. It's weird, though. The other week, I just sat in the garden, slavering, <laughs> just to see if it would ever run out. And it's amazing. I don't know where it all comes from. What is the that's strangest taste? That's amazing. Just so to that, see if it would run so out. So now he's got to the point in his life where, a, as a hobby or a pastime or just to count down the minutes before he dies, yeah. he sat in the garden... Creating sputum. ..slavering to see if he'd ever run out. I mean, that's but amazing, Where does it all come from? Well, you create it, don't you? But from what? 
I'm always yeah. getting done for not drinking enough water. Salivary glands. But it's amazing. Honestly, I just sat like that with my head forward and just let it drip. Fuck wow. me! So Susan that comes is, into the garden and all she sees is her patient. boyfriend sat like something from one of the cuckoo's nest, yeah, like dribbling. Been battered around the head with a cricket bat. No, she was she Did, was she, did something. you answer she was back to there. a dictator? Yeah. What did he do? Battered me. But You've I'd... got a trench up your ass as well. Yeah, that makes me slather. No, just sat there. What a fucking That's mark. That's extraordinary. What, what a div you are. And I just had my head there and it continuously... I think I got bored of it before it stopped. <laughs> oh, God! I have never heard anything like this! Oh, God! It's unbelievable! He just sat there with his head down, slavering, letting it just... That's extraordinary. You weren't even sort of, like, gobbing. You were just, no, just letting... letting it, letting it sort of drop. So you, you got... you've got nothing else going on in your life, but you've got time to do this. So your brain wasn't even engaged. How long were you there for? I tell you what, no joking, probably a good fifteen minutes. <laughs> fifteen wow. minutes of sitting with his head forward, Amazing. letting him salivate onto the grass. But do you reckon you could do that amount? I would well, never, do never, try. never, never do it. Never try. I would never, never try. have that amount of time. I've never. I've. Ne I, I tell you now, you will never see either of us sat there for no reason in the garden with our head forward and our mouth open seeing how long we can create saliva. Unless I've just come out of a coma. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, or a gas attack. Yeah. No, I have a lot of, uh, I'm sort of goes unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great new dance duo! Isn't it? Please welcome to the stage. It's goes unlimited. Amazing. Uh, what do you think about George Best using up his liver, then getting another one and getting pissed at him? Clever. Well, that's always going to encourage it, isn't it? I've always said that. What? The moment we can replace stuff, people just go, oh, sod it. Like what smokers. would you do if you gave someone a kidney and then with it. and they started just sort of the pub again, doing drugs and shit? And well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hand it out to someone just just like that, would I? I think you should be allowed to say, right, who's it for? Can I meet them? Right. And then have a chat with them, right. saying, "Have you learnt your lesson?" Well, I'm going to do it. Okay, okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little um, kid who wants a, a kidney. Okay. Um, and you come to me. I'm, I'm at the top of the list. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Good. Are you going to give me one of your kidneys so I can live? I don't know. Um... Well, I'm at the top of the list. So, why is your head so round? Right, so definitely not. Why? Definitely He's a little not. kid. Look at He's him. He's a little kid. Pale. No, I need, I need a kidney. He's cheeky, though, isn't he? No, cheeky. please. Lovely please, kid. round head. Can I have a, your kidney? No, you can't. Oh, come on, right, you've got let's two. Let's see another kid. Let's see another kid. No, Lesson I'm, the top, I'm top, top of the fucking list. Give me one of your kidneys, you round-headed twat. No, I would not feel bad about walking away from that kid and saying you cannot have a kidney. So you're going to... You're gonna. Do you know what? I'm going to take this kidney out and bin it. <laughs> Hey, wait, do you know who that kid went on to become? Go on. Winston Churchill. Right, well, maybe I helped. It's like Darren Campbell all over again. I made him stronger. I was tough with him. He saw how tough the world is. No, but he didn't. It, this is an alternative universe where he died because you never gave him that kidney. Yeah. Eh, well, you can't worry about that then, can you? If you're going to start going that far back and forward and stuff. But I think... It, I don't know what I'd expect someone to be like. Just want them to go, what do you eat? I'd, I'd say, write down your diet. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to really... I'm going to treasure this kidney. I'm going to treasure it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to really work hard and I'm going to make something like more than you did. So I'll... Um... So my, this, your kidney's going to be a lot better off for me than you, you lazy tosser, I'll tell you that. If you want, if you want oh, achievement, okay. then, uh, you know, I, I'm going to go to school, I'm going to do really well. Then, like you, you thick little round-headed shit. So the quicker you get the fucking kidney out of your used body yeah. and into mine, we'll all be happy, won't we? OK. Well, I'll, I'll go away and think about it for a month. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Don't have to get nasty. Sick of it. I'm always helping people out. Uh... That's a big ask, isn't it? Would you give anyone a kidney, Carl? Suzanne. I'm tricky, sure he would give Suzanne tricky, a kidney. It's tricky. Well, you obviously you'd give Suzanne a kidney, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, well, would you or are you just saying that? It's 
disposal ward. I don't really like the idea of it. So if what you're saying, what are you saying to Suzanne right now? Bit of good luck. Oh, you know I need a kidney, and it's got quite rare. Well, we've got the same sort of blood group and everything. So uh, yeah, you got two. I got none. Bibbidi bob, one each. Let's have a good life. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you'll have to uh, have to have it. Which one are you thinking of going for? Because the uh, I think the right one's a bit dodgy because they had the kidney stones. Well, you keep that. Do you have I'll that have, one. I'll have the left one. No, I'll tell you what, you have that one, because when I was in all the pain, you were going, it can't be that bad. So you have it. Mm. It's in good working order. They've looked at it. Yeah. But it is prone to stones. <laughs> but he's using this to get back at her. For saying it can't be that bad. It's like poetic justice. He can give her the kidney she didn't believe was that painful. Don't like talking about it. It's all, uh, it freaks me out. It freaks me out. It's all doing stuff now. The kidney's doing stuff. Yeah. My teeth are hurting still. Still got a little bit of toothache going on there. Mm. I've got a sweat on. All stuff's going on without me knowing. Germs within round. I've had jabs for rabies. I've had hepatitis A and B. I don't even know what that does. <laughs> I've had A and I've had B. That's whizzing round my body. Body's in shock, isn't it, at the moment? It doesn't know what's going on. I've had... Uh... How is it notifying you of the shock? Well, I think, like I say, I keep getting this sweat. And, uh what else have I had? Typhoid. <sighs> Doesn't that, they shouldn't, all this stuff shouldn't be in my body, should it? And we don't really know, do we? You're saying, yeah, have this, have that, shove it in your arm, it's all right. But we don't really know. Long-term effect. I've got rabies in me. I never thought I'd have to have that. Tetanus. TB. One for a forget bit by a dirty monkey. <laughs>